Hey everyone, this is Dave from the Adobe Character Animator team and here's a look at some of the projects you all have made that recently caught our attention over here at Adobe. We've highlighted Gato Galactico before, a Portuguese children's program, and they've recently been using Character Animator quite a lot for adding animated commentary to all of their gaming videos. Their diverse lineup of characters are beautifully expressive, from the more 3D-looking Kuei and Friends to the Saturday morning cartoon style of Gato Galactico games. This formula seems to be working extremely well for them, with their most popular videos garnering millions of views. For anyone who wants to do animated gaming playthroughs, this is an excellent case study to take notes from. Lucky and Spot is one of the best examples I've seen of animated character-driven accounts on TikTok. Animated dogs talk through various topics in short form posts, but my absolute favorites are when they use TikTok's stitch or duet features to add commentary to other videos. Character Animator has allowed them to quickly react to memes, current events, and more. With over 176,000 followers and 1.3 million likes, the animated look has helped them stand out from the crowd. Mark Giles is a Portland, Oregon-based animator who recently did a series of one-minute animated shorts for Intel promoting their DevCloud technology. The episodes follow three co-workers through various humorous situations, eventually tying in ways the cloud could help them with their problems. And this is also really cool. As an accomplished Grammy award-winning musician, Mark is also experimenting with playing a live show with an animated band called Zambonja. He's currently working on an hour-long set that he'll be playing in Portland in late August. I love seeing innovative concepts like this come to life, so excellent work. The Joe and Joe Show is a German-based YouTube series with a fun premise. A 39-year-old named Joe unexplainedly gets visited by the 19-year-old version of himself. Seven episodes have been released so far following their misadventures. The character design is well done with a Rick and Morty style, using tiny splotches for pupils and small mouths for the lip sync. I particularly like how restrained they are using the head tracking, with some characters turning it off entirely. It removes the floaty feel that some beginner character animator projects can have, resulting in a more polished and professional look. The Akala Show is a late night talk show format cartoon made by a studio called Chop Art in the Maldives. The big-headed hosts and guests are fun and exaggerated, and the set pieces have a nice sense of color and depth to them. It's a great formula for talking to animated versions of celebrities, politicians, and more. Frequent spotlight contributor and comedian Jim Tooze created this great social media animation for The Drew Barrymore Show. Drew's daughter Frankie talks about how she shares her birthday with Earth Day, and Jim animated her as a cute little talking cat. Jim has been busy using Character Animator in his own work as well, including a standout series of social media shorts called Tapes from the Void, where his monochromatic character talks through various stories against a hallucinated backdrop. I loved this first attempt at a storytime cartoon from YouTube animator Mikey Doodles, talking about online video creators and awkward high school experiences. You can tell a ton of production time went into this seven and a half minute piece. I think I counted over a dozen custom characters and triple that for backgrounds and props. The fast-paced editing style mixed with diverse visuals keeps things interesting. Horton Novak is an Australian animator whose love for cruise ships has sparked a channel talking about his various adventures around the world. His character has a nice range of emotions and I love the mix of travel footage plus character narration. But the thing that impressed me the most about this is that he has channels in English and Portuguese, with character animators lip sync quickly letting them render two versions of the same video for different international audiences. Tiny Froze is a new series by talented designer and illustrator Erica Rose. The stories follow a woman named Frolana through her various misadventures, including talking to her plant about her troubles. I love the kinetic, hand-drawn look of the characters and backgrounds, and the dedicated website she created helps give the series an established professional presence. John Henry's celebrity animations on Instagram are some of the best I've ever seen. His caricature work is fantastic on its own, but he really adds several great touches in animation, like subtle face parallax and lip sync that includes the chin and facial features. His feed is definitely worth a look, with plenty of awesome examples of mixing character animators' live features with a traditional animation skill set. Super impressive stuff. Tailed Stories has been doing a lot of interesting MIDI control experimentation in Character Animator. Basically, he's been exploring different ways to mix arm and hand tracking alongside additional MIDI controls for more precise results. He's posted many videos on YouTube about his various techniques and published several repos on GitHub. If you're interested in pushing the technical boundaries of what's possible with Character Animator, it's well worth checking out. 
Flyworm is a children's show from Thailand that mixes a live-action host and physical puppet with animated storytelling. The colorful world is filled with simple and cute characters, and it's not too hard to imagine them producing stuffed animal versions of them. The editing and camera work are also nicely done to keep the pacing in line with kids' attention spans. Yimbo is a crazy talented illustrator from Tijuana in Baja, California, Mexico, who has been posting some excellent bite-sized drawing tutorials on his popular Instagram page. His black and white character with random paint splotches stays consistent throughout the different posts, but little details change like the background color or a small prop somewhere to give every installment a unique feel. Our friends at Tuning Out the News were just nominated for an Emmy. Congrats, guys. Welcome to the club. And they've started a new segment called Smart Talk Tonight, which pits an animated interviewer against a real person like Simon Rushdie or Deepak Chopra. The interviewees are great sports and play along with the bit, and the end result is an interview far more entertaining than your standard fare. And as always, the Tuning Out the News hosts are wonderfully designed and animated. Ghostbusters Reanimated is a fan film by Stephen Shea and his friends telling a unique original story in the Ghostbusters universe. Stephen told me he's a self-proclaimed Adobe junkie and started to learn animation once the lockdown hit. If the recent Afterlife trailers have got you excited for all things Ghostbusting, be sure to check this one out. Heartwarming Things is a collection of short vignettes brought to life with Character Animator. Each installment tells a different, optimistic, real-life story and users can submit their own stories for potentially being added in the future. The channel used to use stock photos and videos while narrating, but the switch to animation has made their episodes feel more inviting and compelling. How do I explain Cajun Craftastrophe? Okay, it's got these handmade puppet guys with Cajun accents and motion-tracked character animator faces on top explaining how to make various crafts like DIY rocket ships. I guess they found their audience. The channel only started about seven months ago, but has already amassed 300,000 views on YouTube. I've always loved any projects that mix character animator faces on top of real world action figures, and these guys are a great example of it working well. Okay, I got through that last one. So then how do I explain Brusnik's Long Way Home? It's a fully funded Kickstarter platformer game set in a 90s universe inside a comatose patient's mind due to a therapy cat named Trevor. Uh, okay, I'll be honest, I'm really not sure what's going on here, but Character Animator was used for the character idle and walk animations. Now they say they're working on some fighting elements that they're hoping to use the body tracker for. With a projected release date of August 2022, this is one to keep an eye on. An artist named Grimson made this interesting handcrafted music video for his cover of the song Abyss Kiss. The character animator created Face sings the lyrics while brushstrokes and illustrations whirl around the screen, which were drawn in Procreate and then stitched together via Premiere Pro. The result is a beautiful art piece that complements the underlying song well. Nick Chilson is an animator who has recently started a series of short podcasts where he and his trusty dog Dogman discuss various topics like breakfast sandwiches and canine dreams. While the characters always started on a studio, their tales quickly turn into animated montages going in all sorts of crazy directions. The series is delightfully funny and unpredictable, and after 8 episodes, I'm still looking forward to seeing more. What would happen if you tried to make something new in Character Animator every day? That's the question Japanese animator Katsuya Oshiro is trying to figure out, posting daily experiments in Character Animator. At the time of this recording, he is up to 160 episodes. They cover a wide range, from creating a bendable character to mimic the Tokyo Olympics pictograms, to a color-coded system for rigging four-legged animals. It's a great daily dose of inspiration, with a lot of practical tips and tricks to pick up on. And for our last spotlight today, I love ending things with an awesome success story. We featured the great work of African animator Luwazi Masifa before in our spotlight episodes, and I'm happy to announce that he got a 13 episode deal with Cartoon Network Africa for his real life slash animated hybrid series, My Cartoon Friend. The story goes that Luwazi accidentally exported his creation, a cartoon character named Timba, into reality and now has to deal with the consequences. It's awesome to see all this hard work paying off and reaching a bigger audience. So a big congratulations to the Wazi from all of us and the Character Animator team. All right, that's it for this episode. Remember to post your work with hashtag Character Animator on social media. That's what the whole team here at Adobe looks at and how we share our favorites with each other. And if you're having trouble with any part of the production process, please search or post on the official Character Animator forums. That's the best database of how to fix whatever problems you may be running into. Until next time, thanks for watching and have fun.